Hello everyone, Minzamomix here, and welcome back to another tutorial. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, but I am so ready to do this one and get back into it. Now, you're probably all thinking the same thing. Mittens, you're staring at a birch forest. What are you going to do a tutorial on? This It's just a forest. And to answer your question, we're not doing a tutorial on a birch forest. You don't have to worry about that, although that would be interesting. Imagine if you could do a tutorial on like how to make it. That, that's not important. What we're really here for is this. Now, what in the world is this massive farm? Well, I can tell you. It's called the Quad Farm Cylinder. But if you don't want to say that mouthful, the Quillender. Got a soul. We never took a night off, saw me cold. Won't even turn the light off, told me oh, oh, oh. Now, what are we going to be doing in this video? Well, I have it laid out for you here. Part one, or this video, is going to be building the farm. It's going to be how you build it, the materials you need, and all that sort of stuff. Part two, which will be coming out next week, is going to be all about the storage systems, because this farm is multi-purposeful. You can store items in multiple different ways, it's built into it, it's very cool. But, we need to change the scenery if we're going to continue this video. Let's do that. Ah, much better. Now. Let's look at some information. So, first off, the farms in the Quillander. What is the Quillander doing? What is it producing? Well, the four farms are melon, pumpkin, cactus, and sugarcane. Now, next up, what is the purpose of the Quillander? Villager trading. Like I mentioned before, you can turn it into paper. You have to craft the blocks, the melon slices into melon blocks so that you can trade them, but you can get quite a few emeralds out of this thing. Now, other important information. What else should you know? The farms are tileable. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a version that is stacked upon itself. So 16 of the same farm is stacked up. That is what you see. But you can also build the farm at just a singular layer. I will show you both of those in just a second. And also, if you're curious, these are the outputs for every hour. Melon is about 11 stacks of slices per hour, pumpkin is 2 stacks per hour, sugarcane is 3.5, and, and cactus is 2. That's what we got to work with. Now, let's go up and see our materials. So, for the single farm, if you just want to build a plain, single layer of it, this is cactus, this is sugarcane, this is pumpkin, and this is melon. Now for the farm right here, for this thing, this is 16 tileable farms. The cactus is a little weird, if you couldn't tell. This one you have to go to 8 blocks to cap it off, just because of how the cactus is. But otherwise everything is 4 blocks with the roof, 5 blocks with the roof minimum. Now for this one, we obviously are going much higher than 4 to 5 blocks, and this is 16 tall. So. This many for melon, this many for pumpkin, this many for sugarcane, and this many for cactus. You'll notice that sugarcane is a little bit lower, and that's because sugarcane uses more blocks of the walls, and you'll notice cactus is higher. And that's because cactus uses less blocks. Almost almost all of the wall is just wall. So you use a lot more blocks. Now that we've shown you everything, let's start building.
And as for temporary storage, I have put chests here with just a simple hopper and a stair to prevent anything from going out and collecting everything. But in the next video, I will show you the different ways you can store your items in a more efficient way. And that's the end of the part one for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to build it, go ahead. Obviously, if at any point I spoke a little too fast, you can always pause or slow down the video. Everything is down there. I will give helpful timestamps down in the description if you need them. And I hope everything worked out well. Thank you for watching. And side note, you probably don't want to build this until you have some sort of storage. Sure, you can have your temporary storage if you're building this before next week's video comes out. But I would also recommend you have some sort of way to store your items before you build this in mind. So that way you can just build it all at once and you don't have to worry about losing items or anything else. But with that wrapped up, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!